Hello and welcome back to Coin Lady Channel. The SEC is constantly being criticized. Gentlemen, it seems that the fog will lift and regulations will be enacted soon. Keep reading today. From the crypto log to all the outposts, we have a lot to talk about. The date we're looking at tomorrow is monumental. The class action case against Ripple, if I'm not mistaken, will have a hearing in federal court and CA California on April 26. This login notice provides access to Ripple Labs and Zach Enough by Ripple from 2020, and it was issued by the judge at 1.30 p.m. Pacific time, allowing 500 members of the public internet access. You are all cordially invited to the event. Their login details reveal that they have been given the opportunity to deliver oral arguments at the hearing concerning the certification of the class of XRP holders who are suing Ripple. The plaintiff, who had XRP for two weeks but then sold it at a loss, has asked to be appointed as class lead plaintiff and to represent all other XRP holders. In today's complaint, he makes the assertion that XRP is a security. What the? This suggests that the SVC vs Ripple case litigation is separate from this one. Then, in the interest of the almost 75,000 XRP owners involved in the suit, Johnny Deaton filed a motion asking the court for permission to file an amicus brief. No decision has been made on his motion as of yet. Someone, then, seems to have gotten angry after suffering financial losses on the XRP rate and possibly trading it. And now he's after the XRP bubble, or ripple, as we'll call it. Oh, I totally forgot to mention that. In today's video, we'll be discussing the Securities and Exchange Commission SEC, the regulation of the cryptocurrency industry, and associated issues. Nothing stands out as being out of the ordinary. On the other hand, the red alert chronology places us squarely in the month of scales and justice. Guys, keep an eye on everything that's going on. It looks like things are just going to pick up speed from here on out. Certainly not intended as financial guidance. I find this totally hilarious, guys. The day after tomorrow seems like a big day right now. Guys, Coinbase has been in the news a lot lately. On the other hand, Coinbase is available again. Why? They are following SEC rules because of this. But before we get into all that, it's worth noting that Coinbase CEO Brian Armstrong is so convinced that his company's method is the best that he's also launching an offshore tether exchange, taking on the SEC, and selling more of his company's stock. No way are you actually taking this seriously. You can see that this is the full offering of stock or other units. Guys, over a million dollars worth of Coinbase stock, with 14,865 shares. If I'm not mistaken, some people have suggested this was planned as a sales ploy. Right. However, have a look at what Coinbase has to say about it. Puts up a wall or a shield. What does that even imply to you? Are you ready? It looks like the Coinbase is on our side. Why? Remember what happened to Mr. Pool, please. Do you still remember this picture? Mr. Poole provided the following illustration or logo, which is the Coinbase logo. Correct, so it looks like now is a good moment to invest in Coinbase. Why? They appear to be increasing their push for uniform regulations and greater clarity in the rules as a whole. Right. Therefore, people, we are immediately forming a coalition to fight the SEC's new regulations. Coinbase is actively hostile and offensive. This is completely ridiculous. Coinbase filed a petition with the government last year asking for clarification on the regulation of digital assets. Looks like we are off and running, fellas. Guys, Coinbase's Justin is suing the SEC to clarify Bitcoin regulations. Right. Wow. Since that appears to be the case, it follows that this appears to be quite appealing. Perhaps even the wave itself came first. The case against the SEC is nearing completion. Finally, XRP has some guidance, and the race can begin. Right. The pumping of XP continues indefinitely, and the coin season may have just begun. Right. The rate of acceleration of the bull run quickens. Guys, this is not some made-up story. You're ready, because unclear regulation has been a hallmark of the Bitcoin industry in the United States. Due to the Securities and Exchange Commission's stringent oversights, the market is under immense stress, and some people have even fled the nation as a result of the mood. In an effort to alter this situation, 
popular Bitcoin exchange Coinbase has filed suit against the SEC. Essentially, they seek clarification on the rules governing cryptocurrency in states across North America. Right. So, this is actually rather interesting. After the SEC's response, what do you think will happen? Any predictions for Coinbase? Right. Since the public has a right to question whether the agency's decision was appropriate, it is crucial that the SEC and any other agency that files a petition for regulation respond to the petition, especially if the reply is negative. Right. Think about it. Take a look. In the interest of the business world, regulatories need to be made more clear. It is still possible that Coinbase and other cryptocurrency businesses will be subject to regulatory enforcement actions from the SEC. Furthermore, we have not been informed of the SEC's interpretation of the law as it relates to our field. Right. Consequently, it would appear that Coinbase is fed up right now, right? Armstrong, Brian, they are all major players in the crypto world. We'll talk about why the SEC is going after the CEO of Coinbase, who also helped build the SEC, and who claimed that imports were produced in the Beltman building. The best offense is a strong offense, as demonstrated by Jeremy. Coinbase versus the SEC. Coinbase clearly wasn't planning to sit back and do nothing until the SEC filed a formal complaint. Exactly. Given this, do you have any other hypotheses as to why Coinbase removed XRP when Ripple was sued? Right? While other dusts like Algo have recently been claimed to be securities and associated paperwork has been filed, they have not been delisted. Therefore, it has not been delisted. In short, Coinbase was wrong to imagine that ignoring the SCC by delisting XRP would be an option. You may be wondering why XRP has not been relisted already, but be assured that its uphold has survived to the present day and has not been delisted. You can also buy XRP using uphold if that's your preference. A referral link has been included in the description for your convenience. The SEC has yet to respond to a rulemaking petition we sent to them in July requesting regulatory advice for the Bitcoin company. What do you guys need to see from Coinbase's chief legal officer to get them to do so? Today, we took the step of filing a limited action in an AC circuit court. The law mandates a prompt response time from the SEC when petitions are filed. In a reasonable amount of time, interesting. It could be months or a year before the collapse. Before that, I had no idea. Adjacent to it. However, they have not responded to our plea from July. Interesting. We anticipate a lengthy process in that jurisdiction and have thus initiated legal action. Interesting. The SEC is supposedly seeking to stall all current endeavors. When did we decide to do this? Right? Once again, the puppet masters are telling them to put off as much as possible so that they can blame it all on the imminent collapse. Our governing bodies clearly lack a firm grasp of Bitcoin, as is the norm. The head of the Securities and Exchange Commission wouldn't name which digital assets or securities are under question. Guys, this is how you realize the show as a whole is bogus. Right? Clear regulations and procedures to follow that are developed for a new technology are needed for the crypto industry and its consumers, and enforcement processes based on relevant securities laws are not the answer. Coinbase is the proper exchange for XRP. Exactly. If they really want to make a public statement, they should release XRP, right? Coinbase has taken yet another formal step to petition the SEC for clarification on cryptocurrency regulations so that it can conduct business in the cryptocurrency industry. In federal court, Coinbase has initiated a limited case. Give your opinion on whether or if the SEC should grant Coinbase's current rulemaking petition, which asks for long-awaited direction. The Bitcoin industry wants the government to crack down on criminal activity. It's absurd that government agencies are the focus of violence. Right. This seems really ridiculous to me. It blows my mind that we made it this far, you guys. Right. Even while we at Coinbase believe that blockchain and cryptocurrency technology may help expand economic opportunity and personal freedom around the world, you can bet that the collapse will be blamed on this technology. And when they do, a new financial system with the potential to increase economic opportunity and freedom worldwide will be put in place, effectively ending the Ripple VCC conflict. Right, fellas? In what way? You can see that this is why we are working so hard to help modernize the financial sector. 
I have to start hanging out with you guys more. In this very instant. Help. Products like Ripple and XRP help expand the market for end use of cryptocurrencies. There. There is no truth to this. You guys, have a look at this. This is really great news for us. Right. Since specificity is our goal, this is the case. That's the deal, fellas, so until the Bitcoin market matures, we'll keep filing documents like the one we did today in an effort to gain clarity. That's insane. Crazy. The Metal Law guy has some advice for you before you sue the SEC about Coinbase's. This will go swiftly, in contrast to the Ripple example. Wow, you guys, that's ridiculous. The time it's taking to resolve a simple Ripple issue is ridiculous. However, the entrance of the Coinbase could end the conflict fast. This lawsuit will bypass the lower court and go straight to the appeal level. There will just be a briefing and a hearing, with no document exchange, discovery, or dispositions. And, fellas, their legal team is top-notch. So, I'm guessing the SEC is scared now. Sure, because they need to set things straight around here soon. If they don't guys, Gary will be fired. Right. This is all an act leading up to the finale, folks. This certainly isn't a case of ripples, though. The XRP predicament could leave users wondering what to do. Because Coinbase is probably looking for help now. Legal proceedings brought by the SEC against Ripple XRP Big Tricks and others are unaffected by the Coinbase move for the time being. It does a great job of highlighting the fact that the SEC makes contradictory assertions about its authority to regulate digital assets. This will get the attention of other judges. Minimum required. The contest has ended. It looks like things will clear up for Ripple XRP very soon, or at least that this will become evident for XRP very soon. Right. In this section, you can expect to find helpful hints. Let's get ready for this. A South Korean court has ruled that Terra Luna is not a security. XRP is not a security if the Ponzi scheme Luna is not a security. They actually use the term moon in this context. The currency has effectively imploded on itself, thus it cannot be used as collateral. In what universe does that exist? I don't understand what's happening. If this doesn't convince you, nothing will, the CCC Ripple case is a circus act. What? I have no idea. I refuse to accept it. However, the prosecution's claims that the lunar currency represents a security threat were apparently dismissed by a single court in South Korea's Southern District, as reported by Korean media. Right. Wow. Stop there. Recently, Joseph Lubin filed an amicus brief supporting the SEC's complaint. Wow. Why do you insist on justifying this? Coinbase? co-founded by Ethereum's creator right now, is fighting the SEC rate. We owe it all to the Gary maids, who work tirelessly to keep the city shining. There is no truth to this. Guys, what gives here? Right. Keep in mind that Lubin, CEO of Consensus Innovation, is immune to the SEC's crackdown on the cryptocurrency market. Wow. Men, if you've already asked. Exactly, a joke. Wow. Wait a week and see. It might all be in good fun for now. As expected. Guys, despite the fact that this might be a joke, it is only a joke. What's more, gentlemen, give it some time, and the truth will emerge. Finally, according to a person familiar with Binance's plans, the exchange may follow Coinbase's lead and register with the SEC. Coinbase's attempts to update and explain cryptocurrency laws in the United States have the full backing of the company's management, as reported by Alina Turret New. However, the company is still dealing with FTX's recent campaign in Washington, D.C. to depict their Canadian CEO CZ as a Chinese communist, so they are wary of contributing to the discourse at this time out of fear that it could backfire. It's puzzling that Biden isn't doing anything to protect currency base from the SEC. They pin the blame on the FTX debacle at the time. To be honest, I have no clue. To put it gently, it looks like things are about to heat up. Listen up, fellas. Prepare and exercise caution. You can tell that this is not a financially stable area. It's all over today. Please like and subscribe as always. See you later, bye.